We got to a Jaleel music video real quick. A video that's, you know, near and dear to me. Uh, I believe this is it. Yeah, this joint. Three years ago, uh, I had the pleasure of running into Jaleel and, you know, connecting with him like maybe four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. Um, and yeah, that connection grew to the point where, you know, this nigga ended up shooting this music video in my apartment. Not this one, but actually the, the old one we used to live in, which is literally across the street. I moved to this building because, yeah, fuck that building. But, you know, now now we turned that apartment to a, a national landmark because of all the things Jalil has become and the success that he has he has seen. Now he's doing, he's dropping videos with 300,000 views in seven days. We could watch this one too. I don't think I've watched this yet, but we're going to tap into this and, and do some reminiscing. Yeah, I gave y'all some backstories and shit too. I gave y'all some back, like the first one, this jacket, right? You watch this video, right? You like, yo, this jacket hard. Well, some might say that, like, yo, this jacket kind of hard. Like, yo, where he, he must have a stylist. Jalil don't do stylists. This nigga pulled up to the music video. He was shooting a video. You know how he be no shirt type shit. This nigga took this jacket off a girl's back. He said, he said, mid video. He said, can I wear this? She said, uh, sure, bet. Nigga put that shit on. You can see the sleeves is still like short. Cause this is this is a woman's jacket. That nigga threw that shit on and made it a statement piece, man. It's just what Jalil do. Look, look, swag, swag. Yeah. Hey, that was a crazy view. Woo! So I'll give you a backstory already. Look, he already had the jacket. I don't know why. Oh, that's our Casamigos. Yeah, we had the Casamigos bottle, but we broke it. I don't know how I got up there. Uh, and then we had the projector on the wall playing Jaleel music videos. Like, I'm telling you, y'all got to imagine, though. This isn't, we lived on a top floor in this apartment building. This is an apartment building that is quiet. It's, we're in Glendale. They, they like things quiet. They like things pristine. They don't like no problems. And, you know, so doing this was a risk. But we had just moved in like a week before. Uh, so we like, man, let's do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how far we can take it. You know what I'm saying? That's a legendary couch too. Hey, <laughs> Shout out my nigga Domingo. Shout out my nigga Domingo. You, you see him with me all the time. You got Jalil. We got Versus. This man, man, I have nothing but love for this man. Uh, I, I did an album with him. Uh, just, you know, and, and going to his crib and just working every day. Um, just trying to, you know, hone in on my skills. And this, he taught me a lot about the creation of music, um, how to control my voice. He taught me a lot. So, no, shout out to him, man. He, he's Jalil's DJ right now, man. Shout out to him. But, yeah, look at young Dom. Look at young Domingo, bro. And how short he get on my account? This must have been after he did that little shit because, like, we wasn't letting nobody on the counter. We like, look, we can get on the counter. This is our crib. We can get on the county, but you can't get on the county. No, because multiple niggas try to get on that shit. Hey, nigga, don't step your dirty ass feet on our county. But we us, can. we could do that. She gonna do my dick so nice. We let Jalil get up there. He bet, he's like, yo, please, like, can I just do a scene up there? And we had to think about it, but he like he he promised us the shoes he was wearing was fresh and clean. Like he literally just bought them that day for the video shoot. So we like, all right, man, if that's the case. Go ahead, man. This is your video. He really made that jacket a statement piece. <laughs> hey, man, go crazy. This girl right here, I'll get, I'll get to her in a second. Hey. And that's, hey, you might not notice, you might not notice the young Zamuel. You might not notice me because I had, I had the, the fresh braids back then. I had just started the brave wave. So, you know what I'm saying? I had braids back then. I had cut my shit a few months ago, but there go a young Zam well, young Zam well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm standing. I'm literally standing inside my kitchen sink. Like, I can't move because I'm, I'm like standing two feet in the sink. Two, like, in the sink. I'm stuck. Like, that shit, that's, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Uh -huh. This is another thing that, that stood out to me. I was watching this, right? 
I noticed this cabinet was open and I said, who the fuck opened the cabinet? Like, bro, what? how did I miss that? I didn't miss much. Any nigga trying to do some weird shit, I stopped him. But I, don't, I, I missed that, I guess. Because <laughs> we was over here turned up, man. I ain't peed. The cabinet was open, man. Look, man, you tell me that's not a vibe. I had mad people hit me up, you know, because I'm not even from L.A. type shit. So I had mad people hit me up like, yo, this yo, this a real L.A. party. Like, yo, you really don't win L.A. on niggas. Like, you, you really like, yo, blah, 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 like type shit. Nigga, I'm from a small town in Maryland, man. I ain't never seen nothing like this. It's penthouse vibes. We got the projector on the wall. Shout out my nigga Shablonski, too. He do a lot of our camera work now for the team at Forever. So, yo. This is when I met this nigga too. I met him at this party. All thanks to Jalil. I met this nigga here, man. It's crazy. No me, no to we all look so different. She going up and down like, a like, come on, man. Get them heels off my counter, bruh. But like, Jalil was already up there. We said, yo, Jalil, you can, you know, do your scenes up there, whatever. But then we ain't even, I ain't, like, he pulled Shorty out there to get a dance. We like, oh, that's a tough shot. Like, anything for the shot. I I didn't even peep. Look at this nigga. Why is she cuffing this nigga head like that? Why is she why is she palming this man head like that? Why is she palming this man head like that? This nigga look upset. But he's like, it's Jalil. Like she's dubbing Jalil. Like just just let it rock, man. Just fuck it. <laughs> hey, Jalil had the joints fiending too. I'm telling you, all them joints that was in the front of the video. All fiending, like they was all trying to touch Jalil after the video, bro. This shit was crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like it. What the hell going on over there? This, oh yeah, that, that's the nigga that was drunk. I don't think he, that's the one that got carried out. He was with the crew that was mad drunk, mad drunk. He started like forcing his bitch to dance, but she didn't want to dance like that. But they came with the bitches, so like. Whatever, whatever vibe y'all got going on with them, y'all pulled up with them type shit. Okay, yeah, now we can talk about it. This chick right here, bruh, she damn near ruined the video output because she wanted to fucking show her nipple. Like, in, hold up, hold up. She literally, like, lifted it up herself, like, on like and try to make it look like an accident. She literally brought her nipple out herself, and then when the video actually came out, Shorty Shorty complaining, talking about my nipple is in the video, this that and the third. Like she got OnlyFans, all that my nipple in the video, this that and the third. So Jalil had to, he already put the video out promoting it. He had to take it down, put an emoji over the nipple. And then put it back out. He didn't see. Nobody seen this shit. She the one that pointed it out. Like, yo, my nipple is out. Like, yo, you took your nipple out. Like, what do what you want us to do about that? But, yeah, so she almost fucked out the whole rollout for this man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my man's was vibing. My man's was vibing. That's a dime room back there, too. We made sure we ain't had no furniture in the crib yet. So, you know what I'm saying? We was somewhat comfortable. We somewhat comfortable. I said, you got to do this shit before we put all the furniture in the crib, bro. My man is vibing though in the cut. Like Woo, that's a hell of a shot. That's a fucking shot. That's the money shot. Look, I feel like that nigga right here. I feel like man's right here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I feel like this nigga right here. I connected with Mans right here. He's a dope person. But shout out to Blunty, man. This this a long a long term relationship and friendship that was made from this party. My man Shablonski. Hey. And I will, I will say, Mans did do it. You thinking, oh, Jaleel was at your, at your crib doing a, doing a video party. Mans definitely did a backflip. 
it, it didn't make it in the video. I don't know how I ain't make it in the video. It probably wasn't a clean shot. Nigga ain't like the shot. But he definitely did a backflip off our kitchen counter. No bullshit. That shit was crazy. But this man's, this yeah, that was man's earlier. Yeah, that nigga was drunk. That nigga was on some drunk shit. That's man's from earlier. Where that scene at? Uh, I can't find it. It's too, it's too much going on. It's too much going on. But yeah, man's was drunk, bro. Like, you not about to throw up in my crib, bro. Ooh, look at those shots, bro. Legendary. Fire. He was like, yo, can I climb up there? I said, nigga, do, do what you want, bro. Jalil, Jalil the type of a person, the type of soul that like, you just like, man, do what you want, bro. Because he, he just moves with such positivity that like, you know, like, am, am, who am I to tell you like, no, bro, like, bro, I, anything you do is going to do well. So go ahead, climb that shit. You can climb it, climb that shit. And then, ooh, that's a shot too. This is the money shot right here. Yeah. Yeah, Young Kings, man. Young Kings, like, welcome to our crib, nigga. We packed this bitch out, man. We packed this bitch out. Shorty was fucking handing me a drink. Yo, they keep handing me drinks. Like, I'm going to drink it. Fuck it. This nigga turned up. He got the Tito's. We wasn't even drinking it, man. He just grabbed a bottle because we had broke this. We, we, we Casamigos, boys. Not Casamigos. We um, Clase Azul, boys. Clase Azul, boys. But we broke the bottle. Shit was too turned up. So, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to young Connie, too, while we at it. This Connie, are you Connie, are you fucking kidding me? That's him. Connie, you fucking kidding me? That's, that's this nigga right here. Shout out to him, man. He made some of the hardest beats I ever heard in my entire life to this day. And he made Dive In and a few other, you know, smash bangers for Jaleel. Shout out Connie, man. And then this shot right here, this, the, the last picture, I got to show that. Not this one. Yeah, man. Look at that, man. That looked like a concert venue. This literally looked like a concert venue. Nigga, this is our apartment, our, our living space. Hey, man. We here for the vibes, man. You can't never say niggas at Duke TV, Zamuel and Domingo is not here for the vibes, man. We here for that. Whatever it takes. He said, wait, this we? <laughs> Shout out Rennell. This is also when I met Rennell. This is like Jaleel's right hand, man. Good man. He did my cover art for, for my album that came out recently. Good man. Good man, man. Solid, solid individual. But this shit was funny. You said, wait, this is weed? If you know Connie, you know he don't really do the weed thing. He don't do the weed thing. He smoke, he smoke shit, but he don't smoke weed. Nah, he vapes. That nigga said, oh, shell about to get high as hell. Fucking legendary, bruh. I see you, Domingo, in the chat. Legendary. Come on, man. You gotta get this nigga up out of here. We was like, yo, you gotta get this. Look, and we don't even know those people. They live down the hall and shit. Them niggas just trying to get a peek into the party. Like, hold on. Is that Jaleel? <laughs> but yeah, you see me chauffeuring the nigga out, man. You look, hey, hey, look, your man's, he gotta go, bro. Cause I know what happens after that. I think he did throw up. Oh, fuck, he did. Oh, man, we, yo, we dodged a bullet, kind of, because we had to clean the shit up, but the man's definitely ended up leaving and throwing up down the hallway, like, literally, he left and threw up in front of someone else's apartment, bro, and then when we was cleaning up afterwards, we was like, fuck, man, we got to clean that shit up, because we, we had the cops pull up, we had security pull up, we had mad things happen, but the vibes did not end, the vibes never ended. You don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm in my house, nigga. We gonna, we gonna get this video off. And that's it. That's it, man. That was, that was a vibe, man. Shout out to Lil, man. Shout out to Lil, man. So he went from that to, you know, the man he is today, man. Shout out to Lil, man. With that being said, you know what I'm saying? We gonna watch this other video, too, because I ain't watched this video yet. I have not seen the Jaleel ride the wave. This is like... This is his cleanest video yet. This is like high budget shit. Like this nigga, this nigga got some money behind him now. He's signed by the gatekeepers. Like we gonna watch this real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, same vibes. Ain't nothing changed. This nigga still doing the same shit, man. Ain't nothing changed, man. Look, the nigga still standing on shit. Now just imagine that's our, our refrigerator. Same shit. 
Nigga, same shit, same vibe, more money, you know, more eyes on you, same nigga, man. Whoa, 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 so clean, bro. I love that idea too, bro. I saw this clip on Instagram. I oh man, this 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 scene. I'm gonna remember this scene. Like yo, I'm gonna have y'all. I'm gonna have y'all all running. I'm gonna have y'all all running wearing the same gear. And Jaleel's gonna be in there, and he's just gonna stop and and rap to the camera like. So you going like, bro? That's just such a hard scene, bro. That's such a hard scene, man. Such a hard idea. Oh, there goes Jalil. <laughs> You're like, which one is Jalil? <laughs> now, I love, I, like, how did they, they in Nigeria, by the way. I wonder how they, like, if they had to get, like, permits and shit. They literally got these niggas running down the street. Like, yo, I love, yo, this video, the energy in this video, man. They did a great fucking I'm the king of the throne, Nigga in his toe track. Mixing up the lemonade with the power. In the mix, I let it rain, turn it louder. <laughs> such a hard shot. Oh, man, that's such a hard shot, bro. Let's see that again, bro. That's hard, man. Rain, turn it louder. <laughs> Imagine he said he's telling these niggas, I want you to break the glass, right? With this with this baseball bat. But please don't hit the camera. Wonder how they did that. I wonder how they did that. They had to have some type of protective shit on the camera. It's somebody controlling it. They had it. Cause like, yo, you see how close that shit got? Like, yo, please don't break the camera, bro. Please don't hit the camera. That's a hard shot, though. That's such, yo, man, whoever shot this, man, yo, whoever shot this video, bro, you did your thing, bro. You really, whoever directed this shit, man, the whole production team, y'all did your thing, man. Because that, that is such a hard shot, bro. The nigga said, he said, yeah, like, niggas done this shit where we stomping on a car, we breaking windows in and shit. We done that before, right? But he said, we're going to get the shot of the camera inside the car, like the perspective inside the car when niggas is stomping on the shit. I haven't seen that yet. That, yo, man is thinking, man. Hard oh, shot. Bro, the, the energy in this shit, bro. This shit is so hard, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, nah, I gotta play this back a little bit. This shit is hard. Nigga hit the spin. Nigga hit the usher spin. <laughs> It's just like it's renegades, like yo, man. It's just a bunch of renegades. Yo, I love, I just love the the vision behind this. Bitch. Again, I rock, I rock, and the little over there. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Them niggas doing push-ups and shit. They little like the leader of the renegades, bro. Like the Nigerian renegade. This shit is hard, bro. This shit is hard, bro. Again, I rock, I rock, I rock, I the wave. Nigga look like a hawk. It's all a game. I rock, I ride, I ride the wave inside her mind. It's all Bruh, like, a game. Come on, man. And the cam, I don't know what camera they use to like do these zoom shots, but they're insane. Like, look how far away they are. Like, they mad far away, mad far away. But when they zoomed in, that shit is clean, bro. That shit is clean. I ride, I ride the wave inside her mind. It's all like. Oh my god, that shit is hard. Like, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the scenery, I'm gonna show you the people, what the city looks like, and then I'm gonna show you Jalil over here just on his renegade shit.
<laughs> my man's just tweaking. Let's go back. My man's just tweaking. <laughs> Where that shit at? This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love the energy, I love it. Got the guitar going crazy. Production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, man, he's lazy, yo. Literally, yo, same vibes that we had in the crib in the video I just showed y'all. Same vibes, but man, this nigga done blew up, man. This high budget. This is a million dollar video. 500,000. I don't know. I actually can't say because it's in Nigeria, so things might be different. Permits and shit. But this, he spent this, this few hundred thousand dollars for sure. We, we in the six figures for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Nah, man. Shout out to Lil, man. Maybe want to shed a tear seeing the evolution. Now, by, this is the director, because I did my research now. I did my research. I know who directed this shit, and it's this nigga right here. So shout out this nigga, man. I did I can't remember his name, but I was I was on his Instagram seeing what seeing seeing what he, he's about, man. Shout out this nigga, man. He really went in. Olu the wave, man. There you go, right there. Olu the wave, man. Shout out this nigga. Shout out this nigga, man. That's a great fucking video. Shout out Jalil. Shout out Olu the Wave, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, click the. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah. I make sure I'm not logged in my shit. Y'all need to see what my search, my search shit looking like on YouTube. But yeah, man. Shout out Jalil, man. Undefeated. You want cars, money, women? Jalil. 12 big. Exactly, bro. You want cars? You want money? You want women? The typical shit? Nah, I want 12 big black, we'll say Nigerian buff niggas. And energy. Now, I don't know if this was Jalil's concept or if the production team, the director, came up with it, but I, I can tell you it's clear what they were trying to do and they they pulled it off, man. One, they wanted to tie in his Nigerian roots and make him international. And then two, they wanted to make sure that they gave off, you know, that vibe of, you know, high energy and the leader of renegades the leader of you know a group of high energy niggas man because that's what he do when he he perform at festivals man man shout out shout out everybody involved with this man and yeah that's it that's it for today man i'm gonna go i'm gonna go finish my day but you know what i'm saying i saw i, I saw jaleel posting about this video today man i was like let me do a reaction real quick so yeah i'm gonna go hit the gym but yeah make sure you hit that subscribe that like button uh leave some comments i always read the comments and yeah thanks for joining Nye